Hello everybody and welcome to this video. The audio will probably suck. You're absolutely welcome. I am Kalina and in today's video we are going to make digital pasta. So, the story behind this is that a few nights ago I had a dream about making pasta in Claude 3D. I think this is me being overworked, but I thought why not? So, I did a few experimentations and found out that we could probably create some pasta in Claude 3D. And, of course, let's proceed like every good Italian grandmother would and start with the basics. Disclaimer, unfortunately, I don't have an official Italian grandmother and no Italian heritage whatsoever. So I'm saying all of this with a lot of respect and love for the country and food of Italy. And having said that, have in mind that I'll probably mispronounce all the pasta names. Having into account of that, I watched quite a few uh, videos on how to make pasta and I figured out that basically the plan would be simple. First we need to make the dough, then we need to make a flat version of that dough and then we cut it. Of course we would proceed uh, without a few of those steps. Get a plate for the pasta. So we are taking a plate. This would be number one. Number two would be create the dough and then, of course, go into cutting mode and cut the dough in a tagliatelle shape. Why tagliatelle? Because it would be easier to start with these types of stripes and then we would probably try to proceed with something along the lines of spaghetti. Let's go and do exactly that in clock. Since there is no avatar code above, I've created my own pasta plate. Make sure when you import an avatar in Claw, it's always in the proper scale of both Claw and the software you have modeled that in. So here is my pasta plate and we can see the size is a big plate but an actual plate size. Now, let's create the dough. I'm basing the size on the size of the plate and here it is, just like grandma used to make it. Now let's cut it into pasta shapes. I think that since we are working with tagliatelle somewhere uh, around 8 millimeters, probably a centimeter would look good for the purposes. The moment of truth. Let's try to cut our pasta. And now let's simulate. Almost there, I would say. I think I'm a bit too optimistic with this pasta and I'll make the quality better by lowering the particles. Okay, a little better. I think my first job would be to put all of this pasta inside the plate. Well, if you are a messy eater, I want to make sure there is natural movement as well it's it looks like pasta and I want to make sure that like they say in cooking shows my plating is amazing I think we'll need more gravity so in this way I'll make the blessed pasta really want to go inside the plate I'm hoping hey we are done now let's arrange a bit, go inside, you naughty little pasta. Okay. I think we're pretty much there, let's fine tune now. First of all, I'm thinking to change the property, physical properties of the simulation, since pasta is normally I'm not very bendable, it has some kind of a stretch. I'll go with leather. Let's test this one now. 
combined with the fact that I'll lower the particle distance even more to make sure that the path is looking good. Okay, looking even better. Pasta has very nice thickness, so I think we can experiment with that. And now what I am noticing is that there is a big gap between the pasta and the plate, which I want to really avoid. And I think I'll just make almost none make the offset of the skin of the avatar of the plate almost non-existent and there we are i think we have a very nice plate of teletele we can try making it a bit more thick and of course if we're going to need a close-up shot lower the particle distance so here you go, there is your dish of pasta made in Claw 3D. Just for the sake of it, I want to do real quick experimentation if this will happen with spaghetti. And in order to do so, I'll just experiment with the ones I have, uh, the pasta we have already created. Oops. Okay, I think this is the th uh, thinnest Chloe is allowing me to go as of now. Let's see what will happen, but I'm super worried about what would the results be. I don't know, probably if we make it thicker. Probably, if you look at them from very far away, they may look like some kind of spaghetti. But I think for now we will mostly stick to uh, tagliatelle and linguine. And probably. Yeah, going back to Teleatella, I think this one would look real nice. Hope you enjoyed this video on how to make pasta in Claw 3D. Join me next time when probably we won't be rendering this, but I'm pretty sure at one point in time I'll definitely render this and include it in some kind of visualization or a video. I love it when simple ideas work and I hope you enjoyed this one. If somebody is making meatballs in Houdini, please educate us all. Have an amazing day and as the cliche says, you know, like, subscribe, comment, whatever makes you happy. I'm Kalina and see you next time.